Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to another episode of Film Friday. This week, how cheap can you go in getting into film photography? So this week I went onto the mighty eBay and I purchased this beauty. This is the Canon EOS 650. It's a 35mm camera with an EF mount. This cost me the almighty sum of 99p. Bargain. Um, now why did I do this? Well I thought, what's the actual cheapest way, if you're already a digital shooter, to get into film photography? If you just want to try, you don't want to go and buy a Pentax 6x7, an RZ67, RB67, whichever, you know, you don't want to go down those routes because that's a lot of money. How cheap can you go? Now, obviously, like I say, I'm a digital shooter as well, so I already have a varied selection of Canon lenses, and they all fit because it's an EF mount, so that's fine. I can just drop those straight on. So if I do this, this is the Sigma 105 macro. Perfect. If I want to continue the cheap aspect, the cheapest film out there at the minute, I think, is probably something like this, which is the Kentmere Pan 400. So it's a 400 ISO film. This is the 24 exposures, so that makes it even cheaper. So if I put that roll in there at the moment, so that's about three pound, we'll say 350, plus the 99p for the camera. If you want to add on postage, I'm still at the moment, amazingly, under a tenner. Brilliant, 10 pound, 10 pound to try film photography. Now, although I know this fires, I need to run a roll of film through it to see if it actually works. Now the original advert stated that uh, autofocus is a bit temperamental, especially in low light. Now after just putting lenses on and testing the autofocus, it's temperamental in most light, but I just flick the switch and put it straight into manual mode, easy. So I'm gonna take a few shots now. I don't think I'm gonna shoot 24. I'm just gonna develop part of a roll and see what we get. So. Um, Let's get started. So as you can see, I'm set up with the Sigma 105 macro. I have a little aloe vera plant um, and I'm not expecting much out of this. This is a, a quite a grainy film already. I'm going to be using Rodinol which is a sort of almost a grain enhancing development uh, solution. So uh, this isn't for any other purpose other than to see if a 99 pence camera works. So that's eight shots done. On the, on the camera, that's more than enough now just to test. So I'm just gonna put this in a dark bag and get it into the tank. So there's my three chemicals. My Rodinol developer, my vinegar-based stop, and my Ilford fix. Got my stopwatch ready. This is gonna be seven and a half minutes. On tank, ready to go. So let's get started. So I'm going to do this as a live opening. I've not taken the lid off this yet. So you get to see when I see. Let me get a clip down. Ready? Here we go. This will be the test. negatives they don't look bad actually can you see yeah you can see there's definitely stuff on them which is a good sign <laughs> so I deliberately took one exposure of nothing oh I didn't even cut the leader off look let's do that now So that's a positive. 
a 99p camera. Everything looks fine. I'm going to hang these up the dry and then scan them. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you don't have to wait for that. Here's the results of this eight shot test. So there you have it, 99p and you get a camera that works. So if you're thinking about having a little dabble with film photography and you already have some lenses, you don't have to spend a lot of money. It's worth a go. You don't have to develop the films like I do. You can still send them off. There's labs all around the country that will still develop films for you. You can send them off or you can go to their shops and, and drop your films off that way. Um, so yeah, you can, you, you don't have to invest in all the uh, other bits and pieces so you can still keep this on the cheap so there you have it it can be done cheaply as always thank you very much for watching please do subscribe i'll be doing more of these film fridays um, click the little bell icon to be notified as to when i upload a new video please do give a little thumbs up it really does help this channel and coming up i'm going to be giving away a camera so you want to subscribe for that one. For now though, do take care.